gentlemen, right now let's welcome Johan Koss, who is a speed skating champion and a great, great man indeed. Great to have you here. Thank, Thank you very you much. Are. Welcome, welcome. And uh, let's have a seat. Oh, you want to sit? Let's, let's, let's Which I think we told her to stand out here. Did they say yeah. that we should stand out yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, they wanted I've, to kind I've of get I've been taking so many instructions today, it gets a bit confusing I don't know, sometimes. but we didn't want everybody to be a little bit more physical active, you know? Right. At least us. What is speed skating, by the way? Speed skating? you from Uganda, you should know. No, we don't have those sorts of sports in Uganda. So speed, <laughs> speed skating, uh, obviously we go on ice and we go as fast as we can around the track. It's a 400 meter track I did, we yeah. can also do as a short track right. uh, on a hockey rink. And you time it, we go in pair, and you try to go as fast as possible. It's almost like track and field just in the winter on ice with the skates underneath you. And you, you, you are one of the legends of it. I had a couple of good weeks at the Olympics, yeah. Uh, well, what have you won so far? Uh, <laughs> I won uh, four gold and a silver. At the Olympic Games? Yeah, 10 Let's world records. Let's give him a round of applause, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and Johan. Let's just look ahead. What sort of, I'm going to introduce another team of people who you're going to talk to in they, a moment. They will come up after me. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and Johan, what sort of? So I think one thing we're going to do, we talk about the future, Aaron, because yeah. we have had such an inspirational time here. It's been so many great speakers, so much interesting ideas. There's been so many things we have learned as we've been here over the last two and a half days. There has been tremendous amount of conversations, dialogue, ideas, experiences. And we go home, we have that with us, but I thought about how can we bring this to the grassroots, to the communities in all of around the world. So when we are getting the material written out after this, which go obviously we get the report, we have to make that into a play-based resource a resource which you can use games to teach every child and youth around the world or any child and youth you are connecting to the opportunity to learn what we have experienced here in the last two days. And we at Right to Play, we have about 16,500 coaches and 1.1 million children in activity around the world. We're working obviously with the Generation Amazing and other commitments uh, throughout the world. We believe that we can kind of lead that activity to make it accessible for all participants here, plus all of the communities that we are coming from. And we need to create a resource where it actually is useful for everyone to use. So it's for coaches to apply, and so we can t teach and train children to get the best life skills, we can have role models, we can in introduce activities for girls, we can create uh, playgrounds and fields, and we can create, uh, of course, give equi equipment in relation to this. So that I think we need to do. We need to bring this Doha Golf Forum to the grassroots, to the communities around the world. And that's very important what you just said, bringing it down to the grassroots. And it doesn't really require too much in terms of resources, does it? it we need, because obviously nobody actually today reads a long document. You need to create a, a resource where you have play and games sport activities, which teaching the lessons we have taught now and we're creating what we call the Reflect Connect Apply with a process of conversation between the coach and the individuals to, to go through these lessons. Is there anything that has happened over the last couple of days that you think has stood out for you? I know you've talked generally about the conversations, about the sorts yeah. of discussions that have, is there something that has sort of excited you that you'd like to see actualized moving forward? Well, I think, we, I mean, listen, there is any moment up here has been inspirational. We just witnessed what UNICEF has done over the last decade to introduce sport into their work. I, t I tell you, I work, I've been a uh, UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador for a number of years, and in the 90s and early 2000s, they didn't know what sport were. They didn't have programs in sport. Think, we mentioned 140,000 refugees from Syria in Jordan in programs. We, there is 6 million children refugees from Syria. Think if we can reach all of them to do much more for the one who really needs it. That's inspirational. I have been so inspired by athletes and the role models we've seen on the stage over the last two and a half days and t telling their stories. But most importantly also, you know, these incredible initiatives has been done last year, which has been introduced this year. And of course, the four ambassador for Generation Amazing, who's telling about their activities in their communities. If you can multiply that, I think Doha goals will change the world. 
All right, I'm going to introduce the rest of the guys now, the guys that you're going to have a chat with. And uh, thank you very much for speaking to us. Thank you. I'll leave that with you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you now to...